All right, let's dive into one of Earth's most mysterious wonders, Mount Kailash. This isn't just any mountain. It's a sacred peak, steeped in legend and awe. But how did it actually form? And was India really floating around millions of years ago? Okay, picture this. Rewind the clock about 200 million years. The world looked nothing like it does today. There was this massive supercontinent called Gondwana, and what we now call India was a chunk of it, just chilling way down south near Antarctica. Then something wild happened. Thanks to tectonic forces, India broke off and started drifting north, slowly but surely, like a giant stone ship cruising across the ocean. For tens of millions of years, India floated north at a pace about as fast as your fingernails grow. But don't let that fool you. On a geological time scale, that's lightning speed. Eventually, about 50 million years ago, India crashed into Asia. And I mean crashed. The impact was so intense it crumpled up the land, pushing rocks skyward, and boom, the Himalayas were born. That's right, the world's tallest mountains are the scars of an ancient collision. Mount Kailash? It's part of this epic story. Geologically, it's made mostly of sedimentary rocks that were once at the bottom of the ancient Tethys Sea. When India slammed into Asia, these rocks got pushed up, twisted, and folded into the majestic peak we see today. While the rest of the Himalayas are made mostly of granite and metamorphic rocks, Kalash stands out with its unique layers and almost perfect pyramid shape. Now, here's a mind bender. Mount Kalash is still rising. The Indian plate keeps nudging under the Asian plate, lifting the Himalayas higher every year by a few millimeters. So in a way, the story of Mount Kailash isn't finished. It's still being written, right now, under our feet. And yes, India really did float across the planet, journeying from Antarctica to crash into Asia and create some of the world's most breathtaking landscapes. Next time you see a mountain, remember, you're looking at the aftermath of continents on the move. Pretty epic, right? Let me know if you want to hear more wild stories from Earth's deep past.